Picking up the pieces in Gulfport, we showed you images from Eagle 8 HD boats that had washed ashore after Ada's wrath. While some of those vessels were pleasure craft, others were people's homes. That's right. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Chip Osowski joins us live from Gulfport with what folks are doing out there. Chip. Well, good evening to you both. I spoke to the gentleman that lived on this vessel. He told me he fared pretty well. He lost his accordion, but just about everything uh, else was intact. But for those whose vessels sank, they lost everything. I'm not going to say I didn't cry yesterday <laughs> for a good part of the day. Sam Brody's 24 foot sailboat is now at the bottom of the bay. He lived on the vessel with his 11 year old daughter and is well aware of the risk. You come out here because you know you want to you want to live on the edge of stuff. You want to be able to be self-sufficient and this is this is just part of that. Eagle 8 HD flew over Gulfport the morning after Ada hit. A number of vessels beached themselves. People who live on board those boats can't live on them anymore and getting them back into the water is quite costly if they are still seaworthy. At the moment, our main priority is just figuring out how to get a roof over these people's heads while we uh, organize the rest of the effort to figure out what it is we can do, who we can get off this beach, uh, what repairs they need from there, or uh, how we can help them restart. And that was Megan Woods with Gulfport Live Aboard. She started a GoFundMe page to help these folks out because it is quite costly to try and get these boats off of the shore and obviously if they're sunk to try and get them out of the water. So we've posted a link to that GoFundMe page on WFLA.com. Reporting live in Gulfport, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.